What's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1992 Daihatsu Mira Avanzado TRXX. Up front is a 660cc turbocharged three-cylinder engine and down below is a five-speed manual transmission and I am super excited to be driving this car because it's a turbocharged K car and I don't know if Cooler things come in smaller packages, so I am excited to share it with you today. But if you would like to share your small package with me, you can head on over to my website, zachperil.com slash submit. It's a quick and easy submission form, takes under a minute to fill out, and I come to you. But let's get back to that three-cylinder. Oh my God. I'm really having trouble finding third today, but this is fun. <laughs> you can hear the crackle in my voice. And I'm not even doing, I'm doing 24 miles an hour. And I don't think I've ever giggled this hard going that slow. There's third. <laughs> Finally got it. Oh my God. It is intoxicatingly fun. It's a three cylinder turbo. And you might be thinking, Zach, that's gotta make triple digits. You'd be wrong, anonymous internet user. It makes 63 horsepower. However, this was the top trim for the Daihatsu Mira. And so this got all the beans, this got all the fixins, and boy, can you tell. It is just like a thousand one inch punches and it is so dang enjoyable. I am so happy. This is one of the last cars I'm driving today and uh, I think I might have saved the best for last. Now, like I said, Pair Dude is a five speed manual. As I mentioned with those driving videos, I keep missing third. It's a little hard to find, but this car, it's over 30 years old. I'm not gonna, you know, harp on that too long. The shifter feels good when it is in gear. The clutch is incredibly touchy. I stalled it trying to go forward, which I haven't stalled a car in a very long time. Shifting gears is quite the dog fight, but it's a dog fight I'm willing to participate in. <laughs> Last but not least, the Mira is front wheel drive. So how does it feel to actually drive the Mira? Well, if you can't tell by my expressions, it's incredible. It's light, it's nimble, it's in your face. It's a box of rocks that wants to explode, but in a very good way. I don't know if that's ever been used in that terminology in that sort of way. It's zippy, it's so intoxicatingly fun, and yet you're not really doing anything wrong. You're not really breaking the speed limit because you don't make that much power and you're not that big. I love this driving experience. The owner, Chris, is going to need the jaws of life to get me out of this car. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have three gauges. Off to the left is my speedometer. In the center is my tachometer. Love that, that it's in the middle. And off to the right is my coolant temperature and fuel. The steering wheel, I assume has been changed out. This is a personal steering wheel. That's the brand name. And I really, really like it. It's light in my hands and I don't have any worries about it. Off to the right, I do have an aftermarket boost gauge as well as a little tiny climate control vent. Then I do have my rear wiper and defrost. And moving on to the door, I have my latch to get in and out, but then I do have power windows which is something very, very hard to find in K cars, not only because they were cheap, but because weight is everything in these cars. And so added power windows normally is a no-no, but Daihatsu said, hey, if we're gonna give you everything, we're gonna give you everything. And that's evident here with the window switches. Moving into the center, it's sort of somewhat far away. I do have two climate control vents, as well as an XX clock. Love that nice little added touch that they give you for that added trim level. Then I get this giant tray. There is like a little non-slip material on it. And then I have the climate controls, very long and wide like myself. And I have where to send it all the way off to the left. Then I have temperature in the center, fan speed off to the right and a little AC button to the far, far right. Then I do have a radio and I do have a free box and a drink holder. I don't believe that these are factory, but I could be wrong, but can't imagine that I am. Then I, of course, I have an ashtray, cigarette lighter, 
some cubbies. My shifter, which is really tall, which is actually nice in this instance because it's barely a stone's throw away from the steering wheel. I can grab it immediately and I think that adds to the funness of the Daihatsu Mira. So I love that. Then down in the center, I do have my handbrake and I don't get any cup holders. So unfortunately, the Daihatsu Mira Aventine Special Edition Mark II Electric Boogaloo, whatever this name is, fails the big friggin' bottle test. <laughs> now we gotta talk about the seats. The seats say Avanzado on them, which I think is really, really cool. And they are decently comfortable. They're fitting my giant American body in them, which is, well, more than I can ask for from a lot of other vehicles. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. I think this qualifies as being in the back of the Daihatsu Mira. Honestly, the seats and headroom are pretty good. If this seat was moved back to where it was, my legs would be squished, but not the end of the world. Not like awfully squished, not as bad as I've had it in some other coupes. So all in all, it's not actually that bad being back here, but it's just not, uh, not my favorite place to be. Let's take a look at the cargo space. All right, around the back of the Daihatsu Mira, little keyhole in there, pop it up. And here we are. We do have some space for some microfibers and such, but other than that, uh, not a whole lot. It is still a K car. You have maybe, maybe a foot at most of cargo space. So not really fantastic, but what I would expect out of a vehicle like this. Now we gotta talk about the looks and isn't this thing just so flipping cute? You just wanna stick it in your pocket and walk around with it. I love this look. I love the look of the Daihatsu Mira. It's so cool. And this car itself is just so flipping cool. I find it so funny. I recently drove an American market Daihatsu and it was pretty terrible. So Daihatsu in other markets is so good. And yet in our own home market here in America, it's so bad. I wish we got cars like this, but alas, we did not. With all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving this little guy? Well, I don't take this lightly. This is, I think to date, my favorite K car. Previously, my favorite K car was the Suzuki Cappuccino because it was a K car, but it also made boost noises. However, I didn't fit in that car. I had to drive with my right arm out the window in order to physically be inside the realm of the automobile. This, I don't have to drive with my arm out the window. I could keep my body fully inside the Daihatsu Mira and drive it and have all those boost noises and fun. This is now the best K car I've ever driven and my new favorite K car. I love this thing so flipping much. It's just a pocket rocket and you look down, you're not breaking the speed limit. You're not doing nothing bad. You're just having a good time. You're just out with the boys, come on. Oh, I love it so deeply. It sounds so good, it drives so good. Yeah, that clutch and shifter aren't very friendly to me, but that's okay. I don't have to be besties with everyone, but I sure hope that one day the Daihatsu Mira ends up liking me back because boy, do I love this little thing. You ever wonder why bad things happen to good people? I love this car, as you just saw. Then it started raining. And then I turned it off to take some pictures. And now, wait, it was not turning on. What the f I've been sitting here for like an hour. Planned, I swear to God. I wanted to do this funny sad boy thing and then hear the thing click, but it started. All right, I'm gonna leave it running. F you. Huge thank you to Chris for letting me take out his Daihatsu Mira. This is just, 
This has been eye-opening for me. I've really, really enjoyed my time with the Mira. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Chris has been absolutely awesome. Here's a quick little B-roll of all the cars we have filmed together. They might be out on the channel already, or that might be a quick little teaser of what's to come. But that is all thank you to Chris. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. Thank you.